The next thing that needs to happen is if we have an invalid die selected or there's no possible way to score. So if there are no dice that are currently selected to score and they want to try and score anyway, we should ask them if they want to um, forfeit their points for that round. So this comes to pop-up messages, which it turns out are kind of tricky. So in the readme, I put in something called code for an Android dialog. So all of this is required to actually create a dialog in Android. What it ends up being, let me throw this in here and I'll show you. So you need this thing called an alert dialog builder, which we have to import, and a dialog interface, which also needs to be imported. That'll set all of these things. So here's the idea. It creates this uh, class called a builder. And then you have a series of dot sets that you end up using to try and basically create all of the settings for this particular little pop-up. So for this one, I'm going to do something like invalid die selected. You can only select scoring dice. And then it says whether it's cancelable, cancelable, a positive and a negative, and then what happens in each of those cases happens inside of a little on-click listener. This is called creating an anonymous inner class. Basically, we create a new on-click listener in the middle of this builder rather than having it be a separate thing. So in our case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do it up here. I don't have a negative button for just an invalid die. It's just an OK checkbox. So I need to put a semicolon here, because that ends this gigantic setter. And then I need to just dismiss it here. So now if I try and run this with an actual dialog that pops up. So let's try and score this hmm, two. Invalid die selected. You can only select scoring dice. All right. Almost there. The last thing I need is what happens if I don't have any dice selected and I need to forfeit my score? So if I go through here and none of those values um, has anything in it, then I need to pop up something that basically says that's not allowed. So I'm going to do that as another if statement here, where I'm going to walk through and see if all the value counts are 0. So value count 1 is a 0. and so on. So that'll be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, there are faster ways to do this. So if that's the case, what I'm going to do is another alert box, which is this guy here, which does have a yes or a no. So if I have no score, then I'm going to ask if they want to forfeit and go to the next round. If they say yes, then I need to actually do all the stuff for basically allowing them to cancel their current score. I need to reset all the buttons, and I need to make it so that the round is added, has one added to it. So I need to do these two alerts, just like I did down here. I'm going to set the text field for the current score. And I'm also going to do it for the current round.
And actually, this stuff seems to be something that is constantly being reset. So I think I'm going to pull these out and make them their own separate method. By the way, there is a way to extract a method. If I select that thing there, Notice that now this says reset dice, and down here it says, hey, all those things that I just had. That's kind of awesome. And the reason I did that is because up here, right after I set these, I would like to reset the dice here as well. So that's a quick way to do it. You highlight what you want. You do refactor, extract method, and it pulls it out for you. All right, so let's say that I roll. I decide that I can't score anymore. So I try scoring. It says no score, forfeit, and go to the next round. Yes. Current round has been added one, two. And I have to roll again. There's only one more thing left, which is if I score dice and there are no hot dice left, they've all become locked because I've actually scored, I need to reset all of the uh, dice to hot dice. So I need to add in some sort of check here that checks to see if they've all been um, basically enabled. So let's do a locked count. And this is going to go from 0 to Button's length. If the button state of A, yes, I should change this to A. It will make it easier to read. It is a locked die. Then locked count plus plus. If the locked count is all six, I need to re enable all the buttons. So here I'm going to set the button state for them all. And I am going to set their background color. So let's see if this works. Let's see if we can stop. That should get you through everything.